Hi! In today's video, we're going to be learning how to do a move called the Suher Zeki. It looks like this. So, Suher Zeki was a very famous Egyptian belly dancer. She was very popular in like the 70s. Um, she was in lots and lots of movies, really one of the most beloved and famous uh, dancers, belly dancers of all time. Um, and this was a movement that she did all the time. It was one of her signature movements, so that's why it has her name. I will uh, link to a video of hers in the description below so you can check it out. Um, yeah, please look at her videos, they're wonderful. But in this video, let's go over the technique of how to do the Suher Zeki. So if you've seen my video on um, hip ups and downs, this is going to have those, um, some of those same elements, specifically the hip down, which you may remember um, would be this movement where we are using, um, in that video we talked about using the obliques and the glutes, um, squeezing the glutes a lot. So for the Suher Zeki, it's that same feeling, but we want to use the glutes a bit less. Yeah, so you want to focus more on using the obliques. So as I step onto um, one foot, I am going to be contracting my obliques on the opposite side, which is going to bring the opposite hip up, and then step on the other foot and contract the obliques on the other side. Yeah. So again, this takes a bit of practice to get into your body because it's, um, it's not something that we would naturally do <laughs> when we walk or something. You don't usually stretch out um, on the side that you're stepping, but for this movement, we need to do that. So we want to get that movement. And for the Suherzaki, you want to do it in releve. So that means coming to the balls of your feet here. And you want to have your knees slightly bent, not a deep plie, but not completely straight. Because completely straight, the movement is going to look like this, which looks quite mechanical. And um, the Suherzaki is not, is not that mechanical. So our knees are slightly bent. And you're going to step from one foot to the other, and you're going to contract the opposite obliques. And you do also use your glutes a little bit, or at least I do, um, but not a lot. So I'll just show you some variations. If I do not use my glutes at all, just using my obliques, then it's going to look like this. Um, so this is softer, as you can see. And if I use my glutes a lot, if I'm really doing a strong contraction, it's going to look like this. You might want that sometimes, for sure. But the standard version um, that I do most of the time is it's using the glutes, but not as much. So yeah, you might want to play around with that. Um, different people do this move in different ways. It can depend on your body, what feels good for you, um, what looks good for you. So yeah, get a mirror, get a video camera, and just try experimenting and see. But um, this is, that's basically the movement. It's just doing this, going down, 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 down. And Suher Zeki always had this like very sweet smile. So yeah, if you want to really get that Suher Zeki spirit, then you can have a little smile. Um, you can turn around with this. Um, that can be quite fun. Uh, and she did that a lot as well. And that is the Suher Zeki. I have seen some people also um, teach this movement with more of a hip sliding out to the side. And again, like I said, there are so many variations I personally don't like the way that looks on me, so I don't do it. But uh, I encourage you to 
to experiment and see. Maybe you like it for yourself. Um, but yeah, this would be, for me, the standard Suherzeki movement. Um, and again, I will link a video of hers in the description. Also, with the spelling, there, of course, there's different ways to spell her name because it's Arabic, so um, it doesn't have one spelling in English. But um, I will link a common spelling, so at least you can see that. Um, yeah, so I hope that you liked this video. I hope you learned something. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and happy practicing.